What's the good word? Faith. So as I've been doing, I'm going to read a couple passages and pretentiously insert a Greek word for it instead. For in the gospel, the righteousness or justice of God is revealed through pistis and for pistis. As it is written, the one who is righteous will live by pistis. And for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who pistion in him may not perish but have eternal life. So an interesting thing is that in the New Testament, the word faith and the word believe are actually the same word, right? Faith is a noun, belief is the verb. Uh, and so to be accurate, if we were going to translate it closer, we would use to, to faith something is like believing in it, right? And yet those two words, faith and belief, can be very different. Uh, beliefs really are about certainty. Uh, it's about saying, I know this. Uh, and so it's very either or, either you believe this or you don't. And beliefs are very much focused on ideas. And a lot of times this is what we argue about, right? This is what we divide over, right? You believe that, well, I believe this. And so I can't be uh, friends with you. Faith, though, is different. Faith is about trust. It's about, um, well, it can be strong or it can be weak. And it's really focused on a relationship. Uh, you have faith in someone. Um, and, but if you have faith, you're not certain. Um, you're making a decision to trust based on your past experience with someone or with God. Right, if we're going to talk about believing in God, it really should be the same as when we talk about believing in another person. If I say I believe in my wife, I'm not just saying I think she exists. I'm saying that I believe she's someone worth putting trust in. And it's saying that I see goodness in, in her even on those days when things are a little bit hard. And beliefs don't really necessarily call us to action other than arguing about them. But trust does. If I trust someone, I'm naturally going to do what they ask me to do, what, what they think is best or, or what I think is best for them. You know, instead of leaning on my own understanding or my own beliefs, I'm going to live by faith. And so what you believe about Jesus is actually way less important than if you have faith in him. So the big question actually is, are you a person of beliefs or are you a person of faith?